Hey guys, it's me. In this video, we're going to talk about the quantity of vegetables or a salad that you need to consume. Now, obviously, this might be a little too much and you might not want to use a fork like this, but um, I'm trying to make a point here. If we look at the derivation of the word food in the dictionary, it comes from the word nourishment. Nourishment. So, we eat food to nourish our bodies or provide nutrients. That's the purpose of food. So, if we just reverse engineer that and look at how much food we have to eat to get those nutrients, then we can figure out the quantities because our bodies require, they're called RDAs, um, different nutrition. You know, recommend uh, dietary allowances or uh, daily amounts of nutrition you need to sustain your body. So you have vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and amino acids, that's proteins and fatty acids. But where you get most of the vitamins and minerals is the salad or the vegetable family. Now, if we take a look at how much you need, it's probably a lot more than what you've been doing. Let's just take potassium. You need 4,700 milligrams per day of potassium to run the body. And that's a, a someone of 200 pounds. Now, if you're like half that weight, you can get about with half of it. But let's take a look at um, one banana is about 300 milligrams. So you can see 4,700 milligrams you would have to eat a tremendous amount of bananas and all that sugar will probably create a problem. So the question is how much salad or vegetable do you need per day? Let's just talk about salad. Um, <clears throat> you would need about seven to 10 cups. So maybe on a small person, you need five cups and a large person, you would need 10 cups. Now, if we take a look at what a cup means, one cup equals one ounce. This salad right here, 16 ounces. So this is 16 cups. This one right here is 16 cups of salad, 16 ounces. So on average, if you're roughly about 180 pounds or I don't know, 150 pounds to 100, 200 pounds, you're going to need uh, about half of this, a little less than half of this, or a little bit more than half of this per day. Now, I know right now you're probably going, what? That's a lot of salad. Well, it's not that hard because salad is easy to digest. Um, let's say you do one for lunch and do one for dinner and you're good. I have all uh, my salad in one sitting. My bowl is half of this and I will put all the salad on there and I'll just down it at lunch and I'm good for the day. Of course, I have more vegetables than I really need or actually require just because they make me feel good. But it really also depends on the quality of vegetable. If uh, iceberg lettuce, you would have to have probably like a tremendous amount of iceberg lettuce. But let's take a look at a high density uh, nutrient type salads. This is uh, spinach and kale. Um, kale obviously has a tremendous amount. Other um, vegetables that are in the cruciferous family, like Swiss chard, even arugula is cruciferous. All those are very high in nutrients except cabbage. Cabbage does not have a lot of vitamin A. I don't think it has any vitamin A, but it has a lot of vitamin C, some vitamin C, but it also has a lot of phytonutrients. So those are additional chemicals in you know, vegetables that give you way more nutrition than regular vegetables. So that would be a positive thing, but I'm just talking about vitamins and minerals right now. So spring, spring mix really is composed of a lot of different um, plants, arugula, romaine, spinach, beet greens, Swiss chard, red mustard, all these different incredible um, combination of uh, vegetables and also um, lettuce leaves and plant leaves and cruciferous leaves. This is like a really high level thing to consume. So this is what I consume because it has like a variety of a whole bunch of things. So I get my vitamins, I get my minerals, and, um, but you need a lot of it. You're gonna need half of this, okay? Now, other ones, like this one, has 11 ounces. So maybe if you had like three-fourths of this, you'd be okay. Now, other, um, they have smaller like squares that you can do, like I think that are half of this. They're like um, five ounces, so you know, you can do one of those per meal. Um, or per day, depending on how big you are. But that is what you need to maintain and run your body. Potassium, not just potassium, manganese and um, calcium and all these other nutrients are in salad. 
The other thing I want to mention is that some people use sprouts on their salad, which is really smart. Um, one teaspoon of sprout is equal to 50 teaspoons of broccoli as far as phytonutrients. And those are those cancer-fighting properties. So you can use sprouts for various things. Um, as far as dressings go, it's very important to have dressings without sugar uh, or very low sugars. The Newman's Own only has, I think it's like one gram of sugar per tablespoon or two tablespoons. It's just not too bad, but if you could make your own, that would be better. Or use olive oil and vinaigrette. Um, I'm not concerned right now with the nitpicky salad dressings. The goal is just to get this in your body more than just to avoid something in salad dressing. Okay, it's just the, the weight of the benefit of this is huge. The other thing to put on the salad is very important. You don't want to put croutons. You don't want to put cranberries. Why? Because they're sugar-filled and they're sweet. You don't want to put raisins. You want to put a fat on your salad. Uh, bacon bits, feta cheese, olives, olive oil. All that's really important because that allows you to pull the fat-soluble vitamins or pull the vitamins out of the vegetable or the plant because Plants, salad, etc., have um, they don't have the fat soluble vitamins. They have precursors. They're little things that turn into the active form of the fat soluble vitamins. So, vitamin A, for example, in salad has to be converted to the active form. If you add some fat to your salad, you will pull more nutrition out of that salad. So, we don't want a low fat salad. We want some fat on there, and and I love feta cheese. As far as other things you can put on, put anything else you want on it, but just don't put fruit. Uh, and don't put um, sugar, but you can put th some of these other things, other cut vegetables, nuts and seeds and walnuts and pecans and blue cheese and all that stuff. Um, so I just wanted to kind of emphasize, again, the volume of salad that you need is probably more than you're consuming. Uh, you'll feel much better if you do that. Um, so go ahead and start doing that, and I hope you will apply this information. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.